So let me take you back of April of 2020. A month into lockdown, I was very, very bored. Haven't thought of making a YouTube channel yet. All I did was sleep, wake up, do nothing, laze around all day, maybe watch a film, because I was kind of like into watching a couple films a week then, and then go back to sleep. And then I thought, I want to rewatch Wizards of Waverly Place. So I bought a year's subscription of Disney Plus. 60 pounds out of my account, just like that. Biggest purchase I've ever made in my life. I've never made a purchase all at once. More than probably like 30 pounds. So big jump, it wasn't worth it. I was happy, it was fun, you know, rewatching Wizards of the Waverly Place and then I rewatched Good Luck Charlie, one of my favorite Disney films. I was happy, it was great. And then after I watched those, I didn't touch Disney Plus for like three months. <laughs> <laughs> there's just there's so many things wrong with Disney Plus so let me just talk about the layout I do really like um how there's like the different companies of Disney is sectioned off like Disney Pixar Marvel Star Wars National Geographic you just click and then you're just in those sections I found that really nice but like the layout is basically like Netflix one thing it's so hard to find things everything on the home page I guarantee you that you've watched before. It's so hard to find new things. After a couple weeks, I went on to the decade section and just went to the 80s, 90s, and I have so many great rom-coms. Like, one of my favorite films of all time, 10 Things I Hate About You. I was so shocked it was on Disney Plus, because like, it's not a kid's film. I like, Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore. There's a couple um, Sandra Bullock films on there as well. And I was like, oh my Lord. I've missed out, like, so. why is this so hard to find? Why is this not on the homepage? Why is there not a section for, like, rom-coms? I don't know. I'm not in the marketing team. So, gonna have to ignore kind of what I said about there not being a rom-com section because I just, I'm filming this a couple days before Valentine's Day. When it comes out, it is Valentine's Day. So there's a Valentine's Day section, which is basically the rom-com section where it has never been kissed. And I don't know what this is, but I think it's a rom-com. And it has 10 things I hate about you. So there is a rom-com section, but only for Valentine's Day. So my argument is still valid. I'll, where was this three months ago when I was looking for it? Where was it? I don't know. Disney, you have some explaining to do. But like, with, like, So Hard to Find Things, it's really not good at recommending stuff. Like, look at my recommendations page. Boy Meets World, I have watched. Hannah Montana, I have watched. Shake It Up, I have watched. Lisa Maguire, I have watched. And I've watched that on Disney+. Plus. Infinity War, I have watched. Endgame, I have watched. Olsen and Ali, I have watched. Sasso Arabian, I have watched on Disney+. Plus. Phineas and Ferb, I have watched. Age of Ultron, I have watched on Disney+. Plus. I literally just watched all the Halloween Town movies a couple of months ago. And I watched all... And I watched all the Marvel movies too. But I'll give it to you. I have not watched Recess on here, so... A, B, I've watched Parent Trap, I've watched The Sweet Life movie, I have not watched Princess Protection Program. I've watched all of these, except from Frozen 2. I have zero interest in watching Z Frozen 2. There's nothing new that they can recommend me. A majority of the things here, at least half of the things here, I've watched on the service. I watched Soul a couple of weeks back as well, so bad. They're not recommending me anything new. I, like, I understand that it's hard to recommend stuff that you haven't watched, like, entirely. So I'm not being that harsh, like, with things that I've watched before, like, in my childhood. Um, like, Princess Protection Program and stuff and Camp Rock. But there's so many things I've watched within, like, six months of now. And they're recommending it to me again for some reason. In the same realm as the recommended list and stuff. The continued watching list, like, what are you doing? Disney, what are you doing, man? You watch something, because, like, Disney stuff, the, the credits are so long for, like, a Disney film and a Marvel film, because I have to credit everyone. They're good 10 minutes long. Because you haven't finished it, it's still there. It's still on the continued watching list. Everything is there. So, my continued watching list. I finished this, and it's still there, because there's seven minutes remaining, which is the credits. I go to... High School Musical, New Musical, 
the special, which I watched ages ago, still there because there's minutes left, goes to Nightmare Before Christmas, where I watched so long ago, still there because of the credits. So, what? it's just annoying. It, it annoys me so much. I don't know if it should annoy me this much. Like, comment down below if like, something like this would annoy you too. Maybe I'm just crazy, but why? Why? I know it's such so simple, such a small thing, but Netflix does this better. I watched this film like two nights ago called Crimson Peak, and I actually, I had to start school when I finished it. I wanted to actually see the credits when I was like break time, when I had a break. I went back onto Netflix and I continued watching this because I was like, I want to watch like a couple minutes into the credits. It had gone and the credits were a good like seven minutes long. It was like a big budget film. So I had to go all the way back and <laughs> click on it and watch it. But that should be what Disney is doing, man. Like, why is it still there? Why is something I watched four months ago that only has five or six minutes left still on my continued watching list. Another thing I just found so disappointing, you can't search by actor. So, imagine it was like eight months ago, you and me just wanted to watch all the Lindsay Lohan classics in like Disney Plus. They have loads of Lindsay Lohan films and you type Lindsay Lohan. I forgot the end. No results. How? So, I was like, the Freaky Friday is on here. Like, there, there must be a way for the, you to go, I can't spell. You can tell that I can't spell. But like, Freaky Friday is on here. There must be a way for you to like, go and search by actor. And I, I went to details and I was like, oh, Lindsay Lohan's here. Maybe if I click, like it says on Netflix, it will work. And nope, I clicked and clicked and clicked, and I didn't. I, like, I hate this. I really hate this. Netflix is superior. You go on Netflix, you type up Lynn's... Why do I forget the name, the end of her name? How did I get let into sixth form? You type up Lindsay Lohan, her films come up. Ugh. No, not this. The Mean Girls, and I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna add this to my list because it's Lindsay Lohan. But her films come up, like, come on. And you can click on Lindsay Lohan and everything's there. You can search by actor. You can do it. This was a very long-winded way of telling you, but I am so upset. I am banging on the table. If you cannot tell in this voice voiceover, and it is midnight, so hopefully I won't wake up my family. As I'm editing this, I feel really dumb because I'm filming all these parts while I'm editing, and I just thought maybe try it with a different actor. So I tried Robert Downey Jr., and lo and behold, all his things are here. So. This is actually insulting to Lindsay Lohan. Is she not good enough for her to be put in the search entry? Is she not good enough for Disney Plus? Like, Lindsay Lohan made Disney in the 2000s. If I was Lindsay Lohan's lawyers, I would be calling up threatening to sue. Like, come on, what is this? Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan deserves way more respect than this. Yes, she does. Finding out that last part about Robert Downey Jr. kind of like made my next point redundant because my next point is that it says you can search by character. And when I researched this, I said, oh, Rocky Blue, she's a character. She was Zendaya on Shake It Up. So Rocky, I can't spell again. Nothing there. And then... Emma Ross, the iconic uh, character from Jessie. Not there. But Alex Russo worked. Well, this is a Waverly place. So, in, they have it. it. It works. They You can do it. But only characters they deem big enough for some reason. So it's still a problem that we can make it work. It works in some 
sense but i don't know i feel like i I, i'm just looking dumb disney has bamboozled me disney i was like haha disney i'm trying to make you look dumb you're bad netflix is better netflix is still better by the way but now disney's like oh no you're the dumb one and you can't spell um, I've had way too much coffee. I'm up at an ungodly hour. I should go to sleep, but I'm not going to. Content wise, they have like no original series. So I've got my wick friend Wikipedia here, and Disney Plus literally only has five shows. <laughs> five original shows The Mandalorian, The Right Stuff, One Division, High School Musical, The Musical Series. A diary of a future president without including the documentaries and reality tv shows but like still a problem there's like nothing i've watched everything i have an interest in watching like all the old stuff high school musical and musical series and wandavision i've literally watched everything disney plus is really good for like if you have a young child because you can just like let them go wild click on everything like no censorship because everything's child friendly well i use child friendly very loosely because i when i got disney plus last year i rewatched the hunchback of notre dame and there's so many sexual innuendos the priest even sang a song about how he wanted to kill the gypsy girl because he found her sexually attractive he didn't actually say that, but you could tell. Does that sound child friendly to you? Does it really, Disney? But let, let's just ignore that. That 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 is not relevant. But like, I don't really use Disney Plus that much. If you see me doing this, I'm freezing. But it's so cold, it's like minus three outside, and my bedroom is freezing. But I was wearing a jumper, and then I started filming, and it doesn't look great. It looks nicer when I don't. So. I'm freezing, I'm getting goosebumps. All for you guys. You can't see it, but it's there. I don't use um, Disney Plus at all. At all. Like now that like, WandaVision's coming out once a week, I use it for WandaVision once a week, and that's it. Like every now and then, there's like a group port setting that I actually love. That's the only, one of the only things I love. Like for Netflix, to watch in a group, you have to get like the Chrome extension of Netflix party and stuff. But I love that there's a group watch thing and like I can culture all my uncultured friends that haven't watched many Disney films. Like I know that I'm not gonna renew my Disney Plus subscription and I've known this for like a, quite a couple of years. I've known this for, I've literally just been telling all my friends my password and like, go on. We are, I only have like a couple months left. Watch whatever, watch to your heart is content. It's fine. In a couple months, I won't have it. And I don't want to get my money's worth. I want to get my 60 pounds worth. Th there's nothing great because there's nothing new. I feel like they should have waited a couple years so they have more content on. Because a really slow start of all the content. Like Corona isn't really helping either because for all the Marvel stuff, I feel like they probably would have been on Loki by now. I would have had WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier out by now. Because it was meant to come out last year. And they'll probably be on Loki without Corona and stuff. So I understand it's not really their fault. But I'm, not, I'm saving my money. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. I'm great. Don't take any more money out of my account, please. My account will probably last me until like halfway through Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Of course they have it online. It will definitely have it online. But I want to watch on my on television. I ain't spending £80. I ain't spending another £80. I'm cancelling. I honestly think, unless you're, you have, like, young children, you shouldn't get Disney+. Plus. It's a waste of money. You don't use it. I don't really know anyone who uses Disney+, Plus on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, someone would use... Like, he'd use Netflix or Prime Video on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's probably because there's not a lot of um, mature content on or, like, teen content. So, um, it's nice to go on, like, every once a month or something. But it's not an everyday thing. I 100% think it's a waste of money. Unless you have small children, it's a waste. So, you may have to scratch everything I said because 
on the 23rd of February, they're having stars, so, like, there's going to be more mature stuff. I see Love, Victor over there. I see Glee. Is that even Screen Queens I see in the corner around here? But also, like, I've read this fine print, and after February, the price swing will increase to eighty pounds per year. So I don't know if I'm willing to spend that because maybe I was willing to spend another sixty pounds if I get all of this. But I don't know. When February comes I'll probably have to reevaluate and see if it's worth it. All these shows are worth it. So I don't know. This video is kind of a bust. My my the outcome of this video is I don't know if I'm going to cancel my subscription. But I'm leaning towards cancelling more than keeping. So if that puts you at peace of mind. Oh no. <laughs> I'm freezing. Comment down below if you have Disney Plus. I'm like, if you do, do you have any different opinions to me? If you're an adult, do you use it on a daily basis? Or Thank you so very much for watching. If you like, please subscribe and also like to tell the algorithm that this video was good. That will help me so very much. There's links to my playlists in the description if you wanna watch some more of my videos and also my Instagram link is in the description if you wanna follow me. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.